Hello there. I have something very exciting today, a David Lynch 4K UHD that has just been released and I watched it and it is fantastic. I'm talking about The Straight Story, which has this 4K disc from Studio Canal, at the moment only available in France and Germany. That is of course why it has the French title here, but this is the real deal. This is from the recent restoration supervised by David Lynch and it looks incredible. This is a film that has had a troubled history on home video. It never had a Blu-ray here in the UK. I don't think it's had a Blu-ray in the US either, but I did have this German Blu-ray from Studio Canal from quite a few years ago. Now this older Blu-ray looked pretty terrible because it was from an older master from the DVD era and it never got a proper restoration. So to go from this to this, it is absolutely mind-blowing. And if you're going from no disc at all to this 4K, well, again, it's mind-blowing. The Straight Story is actually my personal favourite of David Lynch's films. To me, it is the most human. It's also definitely the most straightforward in terms of narrative, and there's not too much kind of experimental stuff going on visually or thematically. It is very much a normal film as far as normal films from David Lynch can go. The film is about this elderly gentleman who lives a very straightforward life living with his daughter but one day he receives a letter regarding his brother who lives in another state in the US hearing that he has had a stroke. So this news makes him want to go and visit his brother because he's not well and he wants to see him again in case the worst happens. However, this man that we follow, Alvin Strait, he is old and he isn't fully mobile. He doesn't have a car. He doesn't have much money. So the question is, how is he going to get across state lines and visit his brother? So the way that he decides to do this is to ride his lawnmower the whole way. And it's this stubbornness that he has that he has to do it this way or he doesn't want to do it, which is really endearing and Alvin as a character for me is one of the most wholesome characters that I've seen in cinema. Richard Farnsworth as Alvin is just perfect in this film and the film really does bring me to tears every time I watch it especially towards the end of the film. I find it so beautiful and now I find it visually so beautiful on the new 4k disc because like I said that older blu-ray did not look very good at all and it always left me wanting more from this film. I had never seen it before that older Blu-ray so to see it now is genuinely like seeing it again for the first time. I'm now going to say all of the usual stuff that you hear in a good 4k review but it's all true you know the detail there is in the image you can see absolutely everything it's very filmic so there hasn't been any egregious digital effects used here, no smoothing, etc. It all looks completely natural. And it's interesting because while this film was made in the late 90s, it has an almost timeless aesthetic to it. Apart from the inclusion of some modern phones in the film, you really could think that this film was made at any time in the last, I don't know, 60, 70 years. So the film looks natural. It looks like a film. It's aided by the Dolby Vision HDR grade, which really helps when you look at the, the skies and the fields and the various colors in the image. It, it all looks absolutely natural. The film sounds great as well and in terms of how the film is encoded it's done by David McKenzie at Fidelity in Motion so you know that this is the best in the business at making a good disc and you can tell because you don't really see anything nasty at all in the image in terms of macro blocking or compression artifacts which unfortunately you do see even on 4k discs so all in all this is an absolutely stunning film with a stunning 4k presentation i had to get this from france and it was quite easy to get on the french amazon i'll include some purchasing links to get this from either the french amazon or the german amazon in the description of this video it is well worth it. It's a completely English friendly release because of course the film is in English. There's no forced subtitles. So you have plenty of options in terms of how you view it. The French disc and the German disc are exactly the same 
because when the disc boots up you actually choose whether you want to launch it as the German version or the French. And this particular version, the French version, is actually this sort of slip out digipack version. So you get the 4K and the Blu-ray and it looks the same on the front and back as on the slipcase. So it's well worth importing if you're looking at that. I think I got it for about £24 all in, including postage. So that's pretty much the going rate for a 4K Blu-ray brand new. So I was very happy to do so. Now, there is a discussion about whether this is going to get a UK and a US release. There is, of course, conversation about the Criterion Collection and whether this is coming to them. I would put money on the fact that this will probably get a release from Criterion sooner rather than later. So it could be that you might want to wait and see if this gets announced from Criterion in the near future. I don't know for certain that that will happen, but like I said, it's looking very likely. That could happen tomorrow, it could happen in a year's time. So I would say if you're a big fan of the film and you just want to see it in incredible quality, this is well worth getting now. Click the video that's presented on screen right now if you would like more 4K recommendations from me. Thanks very much for watching, as always, and I'll see you soon.